Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. It's Rosetta here, your certified health coach, educator, and speaker. And you're with me for another Conversations with Rosetta. I'm so excited. Before I get going, just want to remind you, if you could hit the thumb icon, if you love this video, subscribe to my channel. And if you don't want to miss any of my videos, you can hit that bell notification. Okay, let's get going. Conversations with Rosetta. And today I have with me Marta Spuck. Hello, Marta. How are you Hi. doing? Hi, Rosetta. I'm, I'm so excited to chat today. <laughs> <laughs> yes, excited to have you. And I'm not going to say too much about you, Marta, because I want you to do all the talking and explain okay. exactly what you do and all the good stuff, right? But I just wanted to do a short, short introduction. Marta Spark, she is actually, she's a woman of all talents. So <laughs> <laughs> she does it all and and you're going to know why in a few minutes when she explains what she does and how she got started but currently she is an empowerment coach empowerment coach and marketing coach and strategy strategist and her business is Marta Sparks Coaching and she didn't start off as a coach um, but you will hear all that very soon as to why she started and she has, she is a mother of triplets. Yes, she is. She does it all. And her whole career in her business started with her three triplets. And it evolved from there. Martha is not only a great coach and marketing strategist, but she calls herself the empowerment marketing queen. And I can see why. <laughs> because she does it all and she is just a ball of energy. <laughs> hey, oh, that's an amazing intro. Thank you. <laughs> yes, she is. She's she's like, if you like need uplifting, just speak to Marta. She's always Wait. there. She knows what to say. Mm -hmm. And she can literally fill the room with energy when there's no energy. So, <laughs> so I'm going to just start by saying that um, Martha started with a podcast way back, I wrote it down, June 14th, 2018. Mm -hmm. And it all started and stemmed from her having her triplets. Yeah. And people wanted to know how she went about her day, what her day-to-day -day <laughs> routines were. And that's what sparked her podcast. Mm -hmm. And over the years, since 2018, because it's been a few years, right? Yeah. She's now. evolved and I love it because good like business people need, I always feel that it's a great way to become a better person is to always be evolving totally. and changing with the times and challenging yourself. And mm -hmm. that's exactly what Marta does. So Marta, I'd like to ask you to take it away and talk about like how you came to start the podcast mm -hmm. and how you evolved through these few few years it's been mm -hmm. a few years and um what things that you're helping people with right now yes well thank you so much again for the opportunity for inviting me to share with your audience and your network um like rosetta said i'm marcia spurk and my journey actually i think it's important for me to to stress that i am not from the us like you rosetta i was born uh, abroad i was born in brazil and from an early age i had this huge obsession with the american uh, culture with the english language i started teaching when i was 14 so i didn't even know um, what I was doing, obviously, but now as an entrepreneur, that's when the entrepreneurial bug bit me back in the day. And I didn't even know it. It was just something that it was came easily for me. And people started asking, you know, can you tutor me? Can you teach me? And I went on to become an interpreter. Languages in general were always so fascinating to me. Languages, people, cultures, history. It was just, I, I, I wanted to know everything and to be everywhere and do all the things from a young age. It's just been who I am. And in the process, um, the whole language thing was also um, came, came to be because of me being very involved in church. I started coming to conferences in church in the United States and that's how I met my now husband and eventually got married and moved to the US. And then huge plot twist, we had triplets. At the time we were living in Brazil and I started you know, trying to conceive. Um, I eventually went through hormonal treatment and you know, the chances of multiples are higher, but I ended up with not only twins, but triplets. 
And then when we moved to America, I really found myself at this crossroad of sorts. Um, now I see that what I experienced was kind of like a grieving period of my identity, you know, and I think as moms, we, we all experience this to some extent. But for me, being the bubbly person that I am, having so many goals, wanting to do so many things, it was almost like the reality of triplets felt like it robbed me from all the possibilities that I used to see in front of me, all the things that I could do, all the things that I could be. And a lot of it, because they were small, it was just a lot, you know, it was a very heavy routine of one thing after the next, the diaper change, like it was never over. There was always something that needed to be done because it was three kids at the same time. And while it was extremely hard, I am so grateful for this journey, obviously, because it pointed me toward the possibility of, I can still do the things that I want to do. This is not the end. In fact, this is just the beginning and all the more reason for me to be organized um, so that I can make time for the other things that I want to pursue and still nurture my family and still be there for them. And it was something that even my family had a, a little bit of a hard time understanding because in the mind of any person, triplets is enough, please allow yourself, <laughs> you know, the, the break of sorts from anything else because you're going to be extremely overwhelmed. But in my case, and now the more I understand about my personality type, so many, I've, I've decided to dive into so many different personality assessments and things to help me understand these desires because it felt wrong and people made me feel like I was wrong, right? Why would you start something? Why would you do anything else besides what's right in front of you, which is the most precious things you could have ever hoped for your own children? And I was made to feel like a, like a bad person, like I was neglecting my children. And at the same time, I knew that was not the case, but it was a lot of conflicting information in my mind. And ultimately I saw it, all of it started with network marketing for me. And that's where the, the health coaching kind of began um, because it was like the opportunity of, uh, oh, you can make money from your phone, all the things that we, we see. And even though I decided not to continue with a network marketing model and went into uh, the coaching that I do now, I saw the potential of personal development. That's really what drew me in and was my biggest takeaway from my journey in network marketing was that if I understand myself truly, I can be who I really am. And that's what people look for as a business, right? As a business owner, they're not, they don't connect with the business and the product and the service. They connect with you. And this not only benefits my business, but it benefits my family because if I'm more you than more me than ever, that's what they're getting. They're getting this amazing up-leveled version. And then I can then pave the way for my kids to be that. So all of this happened. I didn't understand all of this at the time. I've been unpacking this for the last almost six years now. But this was really my message with this journey. It was that it's such a responsibility to raise three kids at the same time. And that's the reality that my husband and I remind ourselves of daily is we don't get a do-over. It's not like you have a child, you understand the process. After a few years, you have the second child, you're kind of used to it so you can tweak things. We don't have that luxury. <laughs> you were thrown in all at one time, just bam, that time. was it. You exactly. have to figure it out. You got to figure it out. And I also like to point out that I'm not saying my reality is harder than anyone else's. This is something that I always want to stress because I don't want people to look at me and think that I am this uh, muse, idol, I could never, you know, compare to you and your reality. All of us go through challenges. All of us. Our reality is the hardest reality for each and every one of us because it's ours. It's our cross to bear. It's our challenge. So I, I do, I never want to create this imagery that my life is so hard. Look at me. I can do these other things. What I, my message really is, if I can do it, anybody can you know, this is the hope <laughs> through my life. And so with me starting in the health coach coaching space, um, cause I started with beach body. It was initially for me, you know, to lose the baby weight from the pregnancy, which, you know, I did put on a lot of weight and lots of people say, well, you could have put on even more because it was triplets, but I gained close to 50 pounds. Um, and I, it was just, you know, the natural thing that most women revert to is now I want to take care of my body. Now the babies are out. Let me look at myself. And that's really the route that I went in. 
And I then took out of that journey much more than just my body, because that's one of the things that health coaches at the time, you know, in that container talked about and in general talk about it's more than your body, it's your mind, it's your emotional health, right? Everything is interconnected, your mental health and all of that. It is the health of your relationships, your interactions. And I found all of that in personal development. And I then had this glimpse of, I don't, I'm not meant to be just a coach within this company. I'm meant to be a speaker, a mentor outside of this that gets hired by companies to come and bring the fire. And this is what I have been embodying. And I remember that one of the, one of the awards that you received for reaching certain goals in the company at the time was like a book, was a book and a training by, by different uh, mentors. There was like John Maxwell and then Brendan Burchard. And I was like, this is what I want to do. I want to publish books and I want to be called to speak. How do I go about having this. And I remember having conversations with my husband. He's like, this is going to take you years. <laughs> Super encouraging. And I was like, well, I have to start somewhere, you know, and now to look back from that moment, which has been almost six years, here I am on the verge of publishing my own book. I have co-authored a book. I have been speaking in several different capacities and people know me. And it's been this journey of just those beginnings of seeing the glimpse, not really knowing what it would take, the direct exact steps but putting one foot in front of the other following my heart even when people were telling me I was insane that has brought me into what I'm doing now which is my journey right helping women go through a similar journey of understand yourself understand why you have these desires they're not there haphazardly they're there because this is your calling this is what this is your gift to the world so don't deprive the world from the amazing gift that you are <laughs> and Pursue that and then turn that into a profitable business because the more aligned with you, you become, the more money you're going to make. Wow. Amazing, amazing journey. And you know, when I first met Marta, what really caught my attention was that because I'm a health coach and she's been a health coach and I do specialize in families and helping families create that healthy lifestyle culture. But also I help women get away from those quick fixes and fads and diet so they can make healthy become second nature. And you've done it. You've been there and you can understand what it's about. And I love the fact that with the kids and family, I always say it stems from top down. Yeah. Parents have to emulate to kids. We are so like in this country, we're lacking in so many just basic things that we're not teaching our children. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's great. We send them to school. We teach them English, math, and all the subjects. But what is miss missing from the curriculum is a lot of things that they don't teach the kids, like health yep. and wellness, how to behave, like behavioral teaching, right, yep. is so important. How to become a good human being, that's what's missing. Yep. And I believe that you were able to do that with your kids, and you were actually encouraging. I love the fact that you started your podcast because more people need to, there are other people probably that were in your same situation that had triplets or quadruplets mm -hmm. or even mm -hmm. twins mm -hmm. or even just one child and was wondering how you did it. And it's a nice way to connect and get ideas and suggestions from other mothers out there, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And yeah. I love the fact that how you evolved into more than just like, okay, um, doing the beach body thing. And then you thought, wow, this is really good because I can empower myself. I can help other people, but also I can be like that of a speaker and an educator and yeah. help people understand more about themselves and empower them as a woman. Right. Yeah. So that's how you evolved into becoming this empowerment coach and, and strategies, uh, marketing strategist and, it really is, it has a lot to do, you're right, with mindset, even yeah. with health coaching, it's all to do with mindset. Yeah. And I love the fact that you're out there just encouraging people and just really being by their side and their partner and helping them saying, you can do this. You are empowered and you give them the practical tools and solutions to be empowered and right. to be there. So basically what Marta does is, she has these coaching courses, but just like health coaching, we want to guide you during this, this time when you join the courses, 
But ultimately, the goal is to have you be independent and be able to do it on your own without relying on someone one day, right? Each person takes their own journey. And um, whenever they're ready, that's when, you know, it's, it really is fulfilling. As coaches, we know, right? Yes. When we see progression, we see people see those results and change as a person and get that aha moment. It's Mm -hmm. like, you could cry really because oh, so it rewarding. just makes your heart feel. That's why we do it as coaches. We just feel that, oh my God, this is why I do what I do mm-hmm. because I feel so much gratitude and reward just seeing people achieve what they thought could not be possible at the start. So, exactly. so yeah. I'm sure you've seen a array of people. And um, why don't you explain to people, Marta, like what kind of coaches, how can people get a hold of you? Um, give an example of some of the coaching courses you've had and do you have any going on? Yes. And uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Well, thank you so much for that. And uh, I didn't mention the podcast, but I think it's really important to stress something that you said that all of us have this message and it helps when we share it with somebody else. And I am a very like, take messy action, just go for it and do it. And it's these kinds of people that will support the people that need a little bit more structure to lead the way. Because then a lot of what I do is looking back and saying, okay, so what exactly did I do? So I can teach you some of these steps for the people that are completely lost. When in my case, yes, I have had mentors that have given me steps, but for me, it's all about, I'm going to go and I'm going to do it. I don't need to know all the answers to go and figure out because lots of people get stuck in their own heads thinking I'm going to start this when I know everything. You're never going to know everything. So you're never going to start therefore. (laughs) So don't fall into that trap and understand that action brings clarity. So I I felt that I needed to say that because I am a true example of, I don't really know all the specific steps, but I have the vision. Like when I decide, when I realize this is what I want to be, this is what I see for myself in the future. I didn't know what it would take, but I started putting one foot in front of the other. And I, I know that all of us have this within us of going forth and doing, and that's how the podcast was born. I didn't really know what it would turn into, but I stayed consistent with it. And now it's, it's just so rewarding to know that I'm reaching people, even when I don't know in all parts of the world, um, with this message of encouragement to say, yes, I can guide you, but I can't do the work for you. You have to do it. And then once you see all the results and you have those breakthroughs, it's just going to confirm to me that all the work that I've put in has been worth it. And this is one of the things that when people say, no, what's what's the most fulfilling part of what you do? And for me really is knowing that I had a part in somebody's transformation and somebody's journey. I was, you know, me saying those words or that encouragement sparked something that made all the difference in their lives. And I think for any educator or teacher, that's really what brings us joy is knowing that we, you know, years later, you go and you meet one of your students from, you know, where, when you talk teachers in college or in school and to see, I've gone on to get this degree. I've gone on to get married and have kids. Like, it's like, oh my gosh, I was a part of it. You learned from me. <laughs> I was there, you know? So I love that so much. So as part of my, my programs, one of the main things that I have that I first started as part of this new direction Um, as an empowerment coach was a membership. And that's something that I hold dear to my heart. You actually were able to uh, come to one of our meetings. It's called the Empowered Woman School. And it's really that perfect and beautiful blend of um, personal growth mindset and also the strategy on how to leverage marketing um, in a very consistent way to put your offers out there to talk about your business so that people will be interested. And we meet three times a month on Zoom. Our doors are always open. Uh, In fact, I always encourage people to come and check out one of the meetings to see if it's something that they would be interested in. So that's one of the things that I have ongoing. And I also have a few group programs that I open up and go through a few times a year. One of them is called Show Up Empowered and is very um, focused on content creation. So the marketing piece. How can you get super clear on who your target audience is? What is the transformation that you can provide? And how can you create content in a way that showcases how amazing this this product or service is so that it will become a no-brainer for people? Because oftentimes we feel like marketing is gimmicks. Marketing is tricks. And while that may work to some extent, like we said before, 
people connect with businesses or people with connect with the person behind the business, not the business itself. So the more in alignment you are with who you are and the more unapologetic and authentic you are about who you are, the more people will connect with you. And so you won't need the gimmicks. You will just be you. And that's what people will connect with. So we talk a lot about that, being authentic, being yourself, bringing storytelling, vulnerability. So that's a six-week course um, that we we do in a group setting. And I love group settings. I've really found myself. Um, I, I love my one-on-one clients. Usually my one-on-one clients come from the group settings because they're like, I need more in-depth and more customized. Um, and that's really what works because they already know my message. They already know how I work. And it's just us uh, working in a more individual basis. But the group really lights me up because of my personality, because of you know how I operate. And women can really um, help each other out in that group because you it's a little bit less intimidating, I feel. You see other people that are more extroverted or open to sharing, sharing their journey. And then that encourages you to go and do the work and then start sharing. A big part of what I do is encourage women to talk about it, right? Openly or in the groups, in in that setting, if that makes them feel more comfortable to begin with. Because as business owners, we are public people. That in varying degrees, right? You don't have to do exactly what I do. And that's something I always have to add as a disclaimer because people are like, well, if I work with Marta, I'm going to turn into her. That's not what I want. And that's not what I want either for you if that's not your style, (laughs) right? You don't have to be you know, spotlight, uh, uh, diva extraordinaire to, to have success. You have to be more of who you are. So let's figure out what that is so that you can step into that and people can love you for who you are. So that's what I help women with. I don't help women turn into me. I don't want you to do that. I help women turn into who they are, um, originally so that they, um, they can draw people in. So that's part of the show up empowered. And finally, um, another program that I launched recently that is so close to my heart um, is called Shine Bright and Connect, focusing on relationships. Because something that I notice is that oftentimes people will spend so much time in the marketing content part and they're not building relationships. And business is both. Is you having that strategy where you also having a network of people that support you. You can't climb the mountain by yourself. You can't have success by yourself. And in fact, even if you could, it wouldn't be that great. It wouldn't be fulfilling because who are you going to share it with if you're just doing it all by yourself? And it doesn't really work anyways. You need team, you need a team, you need mentors, and you need clients. So at the end of the day, if you're wanting to brag about how amazing you are, the only reason that is, is because you've had people buy from you. So you need those people too. It doesn't just come out of thin air. So we need each other. How are you uh, nurturing those relationships so that that works in your benefit as part of your marketing. Something that people don't realize is that, you know, w- when you hear people that say, I don't barely do any marketing because all that I have is referral based, we scratch our heads and think, how did you get to that point? That sounds so dreamy, especially for the people that hate social media, right? It's like, yeah. I don't want to have to post. I just yes. want people bringing me clients. <laughs> and it's like, how do I get to that point? And it's relationships. You have to be known. You have to talk to people. You have to be memorable. So I covered that part in this other course, talking about, you know, really digging deep and assessing how you feel about other people. Because there's this part of business that I don't think many people talk about is a part, the part of triggers, the part of resentment. There's a lot of that because we're human beings and we have emotions. It's not like you turn into a, a stone when you start working your business. And I hope that's not the case because otherwise your clients are not going to be very happy, right? Um, so you're flawed, right? And there are things about you that um, may interfere and will interfere in business interactions. So it's important to check in with yourself and understand why do I feel resistance with this person? Why do I feel so jealous about this person? Don't just leave it at that and pretend like it's not there. We're really really good about living in denial in our lives, (laughs) right? Investigate. Why? Because once you know what's causing it, you can actually go to the root cause and overcome it and address it. And guess what? By you overcoming that, you can model that for your clients and for your family, for all the relationships. And it's really important that you mention that because if you don't resolve those issues, I find that it builds up inside you and it's like anxiety and stress. And as we all know, stress is a big indicator that you're building toxins in your body. Yep. 
And that over time, consistently more and more stress causes your body to get inflamed. Yep. So it's really important that we address that. And a lot of times we don't even know that we need to address something like that unless someone points it out. Exactly. So I really like the fact that you talked about that because a lot of times the reason why you can't uh, move forward in your business or health wise is because you have other underlying causes. And I think it's a great way for you to actually, you could like actually see that and say, well, it could, you need to go deeper and try and resolve these issues first before you can move on and really do what you need to do in your business to succeed, right? All the other practical solutions that you need to do. Yeah, exactly. It goes so much deeper than that. And it makes you better as a person. It makes you actually enjoy the success. So this is the other side of it is that there can be a lot of emptiness in success if you don't have that foundation. And we've seen over and over again, whether it be from celebrities, athletes, or entrepreneurs, that they reach this um, insane amount of success and accomplishment, and they report that they feel miserable. Mm. Why is that? Because that part of themselves was not nurtured, and they didn't take the time to do that. And then I always like to bring that up. You see so many famous people who apparently have it all commit right. suicide. And not to take away from the severity of the issue or to say that it, you know, whatever, that it's bad or weak or whatever it is that you want to say, it goes to show that that's not all. And for us, for those of us who have not reached that and aim for that, we think that that's what will make us happy, but it won't. Right, <laughs> Until you exactly. handle that part. Exactly. So tell people watching, how do they actually get in touch with you? Um, do you have a website or a Facebook page they can go on to look at your different courses? Yes. So if you go to my website, marchesburg.com, you'll find more information, especially on the Empowered Women School. Um, I will add in more on the group programs because they've been really recent. I need to, to do that. But the best place really is my social media because that's when I'm I am very active <laughs> and I'm talking about, you know, current offers and current programs. So if you connect with me on Instagram, LinkedIn or Facebook. Uh, just look for me, Marcia Spurk, and you'll find me. And I'd love for you to connect with me and uh, for us to actually have a conversation. So don't, don't just lurk. Talk to me. Yes. <laughs> and don't worry if you didn't get all that, because I'll put all the information in the description below. And if you're interested in listening to any of Martha's podcast, because she does have a podcast. Have we mentioned that? Yes. I think we did, right? I'm going to mention it again. <laughs> Martha has a podcast and it's called the Empowered Woman Podcast. So just go to podcast and type in Empowered Woman and you'll be able to find her. And she, you can go back as far as her very first podcast in 2018 to see where she started from. You're interested in following her progression because all of these podcasts are amazing. You will learn something in every single podcast and then you'll see the progression up until today, what she does. So the Empowered Woman podcast and her name is Marta Sparks and her business is Marta Sparks Coaching. And again, I said I'll put all the information and description below, but we've had a great conversation with you. Thank you so much, Marta. And we, I really appreciate all that you're doing for women because women, we are like so hard on ourselves yeah. and especially women that have businesses, they doubt themselves so much and we just need that. Um, validation and just someone to say you can do it and we need someone that's going to have that spunk because I know as a health coach that is my business mm -hmm. I need someone to spur me on and to have that energy and can keep me accountable for everything and I love the fact that some people just don't have that they're kind of shy introverted yeah. and they just need to be like given that kind of like cheerleader to cheer them on and to say you can do it because a lot of people have self-doubt yes and I like your energy and the fact that you really like get it do you understand it we are women we need to be nurtured and you can do so much more which is why I love your name the empowered woman which is great Thank which you is so empowering much. women to be their authentic self not to change for other people yeah. but to be more of who they are yeah. and to show it because we yeah. need women out there right we so, do. Thank you it. so much. I, so appreciate I love it. it. Thank you so much. And thank you everyone for checking out Conversations with Rosetta and Marta Spark. And if you like this video, hit the thumb icon. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification for more videos. If you want to be the first 
to check out all my videos. But thank you so much, everyone. And I love empowered women and your health matters. Thank you so much, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye now. Bye.